Oil tanker stocks were the darlings of the pandemic. Now that we're sitting today, are they still good investment opportunities? Are they better investment opportunities today? Or are they worse investment opportunities today? That's what this video is all about. If you're new to this channel, my name is Mariusz Skonieczny. I run Microcap Explosions, a website dedicated for microcap stocks, which are hated and ignored by the investment community. I also wrote 10 books on investing, one of which is available for a free download at microcapexplosions.com. So make sure you get yourself a copy. Oil tanker stocks were the darlings of the pandemic and for very good reasons. A lot of us came to know each other because of the oil tanker trade during the pandemic. When the economies were shut down, we had to stay at home. We couldn't drive anywhere. We couldn't fly anywhere the demand for oil collapsed. However, because the production was not so easy to turn off, the extra supply of oil had to go somewhere. And first it went to fill up the storage facilities on land. And then later it went to fill up oil tankers on the sea, which is called the floating storage. And because of that extra demand for storage, the prices that oil tanker companies charged for you using the oil tankers went up really high. And we all saw this, all the investors saw it. And as a result of this, people thought that they were going to charge these high rates for much longer than it actually happened. And as a result of this, everybody got very happy, very interested in the oil tanker trades because they could see the money and everything was three inches in front of their face. And then the competing investment opportunities during that time were limited. And if you follow my channel, you know, I recently interviewed Calvin and then I also interviewed Kapi, which kind of are the faces of the oil tankers. Uh, Calvin runs uh, the shipping information websites and Copy was the face of oil tanker trade during the pandemic. He actually got a lot of people interested and excited about it. And they are now on the opposite spectrums of whether the tanker trade is a good trade right now. Calvin thinks it is a good trade. Copy is not interested. And now, so you're watching this video because you want to know what I think. And the way I look at it is when Copy was talking about the oil tanker trade, he got a lot of people excited in it. In other words, so many people were interested in the trade. And as a result of this, how did it turn out? Not so well. And now the same group of people has no interest in this sector anymore. So how do I think it's going to turn out? I think it's going to turn out very well because there is barely any competition from those people anymore. And the fundamentals are much better today than they were back then. You see the demand for oil right now is pretty much back to pre pandemic levels. And so that if the demand is here, that demand is being satisfied by part of it comes from the storage, right? So you can call it savings. Part of it is coming from production. The savings part is continually being used up. And it's just a matter of time before the savings are gone. And then more production has to come online to meet that demand. It's obvious. And if you think about it from the point of view of a producer. Put yourself in the shoes of a producer. Today, the price of oil is about 80 bucks. It's going towards the $100 per barrel. During the pandemic, the price of oil went negative. Negative. It never happened before. So as a producer, you want a high price of oil and you want to produce. You're like itching to produce more because you want to make more revenues. But right now you're still being disciplined enough because you want the 
oil supply and demand co to come into balance. And during the pandemic, people thought that they weren't, a they weren't going to be able to shut off the production, that the production was going to continue at a high level, filling up the tankers, but they proved everybody wrong and then the production was cut. And now, of course, we have some production, but the production right now is not high enough to create high rates for oil tanker companies. Because what do oil tanker companies do? They transport the oil. So when you produce the oil, that oil has to be transported to a refinery and it, it gets transported through uh, crude tankers. And then from the refineries, it gets transported to, uh, to the end consumer. And if the transportation demand decreases just a little bit because there is you know, less production, the, the rates for the tankers plummet. But now, as we're working through that savings, it's just a matter of time before the production has to increase. And as a result, the demand for the transportation is going to increase. Now, we don't know whether that increase is going to be four months from now, six months, 12 months, we don't know. But it's almost a certainty that that's going to happen. Now, people are not interested in the trade right now because it's not three inches in front of your face. During pandemic, it, w it was not only three inches in front of your face, it was in their face. Now, it's you know, 10, 12 inches in front of their face and they can't see that far. They don't want to look that far. But every day that passes, that becomes closer and closer and closer and eventually that's going to be three inches in front of their face. It's, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So that's why I think that the tanker trade, the tanker investment is much more interesting right now than it was before. However, what we have now that we didn't have before is the fact that we just had the growth stocks selling off. We have Fed raising interest rates and that's causing a lot of stocks to sell off. So now there's a lot of investment opportunities that are fighting for your capital. During pandemic, we didn't know what was going to happen. And then the tankers were shining. Now, the tankers are only one of interesting investment opportunities. And that's why there is less competition. And so that's why even though I am bullish on that industry, I am bullish on that thesis, for me, I just have so many other interesting things. You know that I sold the tankers for Voxter. And to me, tankers versus Voxter, it's not even a question. Voxter all day long. Uh, and then not only Voxter, now I have other investment opportunities that are much more appealing and safer than tankers. But this doesn't change the fact that tankers are more interesting today than they were during pandemic. There's less competition for them than they were during pandemic. And then the fundamentals are much better today than they were during the pandemic. So now it's your turn. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think the tankers are dead? Do you think they're not worth putting your money in? Or do you think it is a sound investment opportunity and you're taking the advantage of it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.